it's one minute after one on June 25th of 2020 and I'm so excited that our Big Cat Rescue VR Tiger game is finally in the Oculus store so we're gonna go and look for it in the store here I'm gonna search Big Cat Rescue here it is under new releases oh my gosh I'm so excited so excited so I'm going to install it and it says that it's comfortable which means it won't make you sick it ex it supports the Rift and Rift S Oculus Touch and once you download it there's not a internet connection required so that's cool says you can do it sitting or standing. I've never done it sitting before. Comes in English and Spanish. Developed by Eximio Digital. People over there are wonderful. I've been dealing mostly with Douglas and Ara and their team has just been fantastic. I'm going in. It's loading! Hi, welcome to Big Cat Rescue. Look around and teleport yourself to the footprints to start. Aim the joystick at the area on the floor where you'd like to go, and then press down to click the joystick. This is how you will move around the experience. <laughs> Gotta have the controller. <gasps> Darn. We want the tiger forest. I wonder if I can sit down now. tools in front of you. Grab the binoculars with the side button on your controller and bring them over to your face so you can help me look for Jasmine in the reserve. To let go, mash them up to the holder and click the side button again. There are multiple ways we can tell if a tiger has been nearby. Look around and activate the highlighted areas using your right hand trigger to find out more about each clue. You've got a sharp eye. Good job finding those tiger prints. You can tell feline prints from canine prints because the dog prints have an invisible X that crosses their pads, and their claws will leave marks too. Cats keep their claws sheathed when they walk, so you don't see the claw marks, and their pads are more rounded, so there isn't an X across the toes and pads. Expert trackers can tell specific tigers apart based on the shapes of their prints, the depth of the print, which indicates weight, and the stride. Just like you know someone in a distance from the way they walk, each tiger walks a little differently. Another way to find a tiger is to look at trees for signs of them scratching the trunks. Okay, I see some scratch marks out there. Ooh, yes, got it. Ooh, nice work finding those tiger scrape marks. They're hard to find unless you know what you're looking for. Tigers are solitary animals, and the best way to stay out of a fight is to make sure they let every other predator know that this is their territory. Tigers will stretch up tall and dig deep scratches into trees to let everyone know how big and powerful they are. They also rub their cheeks against trees and objects to mark them with their own scent. This tiger looks to be fully grown, so be careful as you continue your search. You might be able to find a tiger by the smell or sight of their poop, 
so keep an eye out for flies. <laughs> Hear those flies? I hear those flies. You are really good at tiger tracking. A nicer word for cat poop is cat scat. Small cats typically cover their scat, but big cats usually don't bother. They are at the top of the food chain and don't need to hide their presence. In fact, they spray urine to mark the territories. You can tell a lot about cats by checking out their scat. Undigested bits of hair, bones, and feathers can be an indicator of the type of prey the tiger has consumed. You found some important clues that tell us a tiger has been here recently, but the best way to find a tiger is to listen to the other animals. They call to alert each other when a tiger is nearby. Have you been paying attention to the sounds around you? Follow the alert sounds of the other forest animals and you will probably find a predator. I think they're coming from over there. Louder, right? There she is. Grab my binoculars. Yep. It's a tiger, all right. <laughs> I am in the water. Looks like you found Jasmine Tiger just in time. She's caught in a poacher snare but she's not about to let you walk up and free her, so you're going to have to sedate her with the jam stick. Sticking her with a needle is going to make her mad, but it's the only way to free her. To sedate the tiger, grab the joystick, aim the dart at her, and use your trigger to sedate her. She needs to be asleep so we can cut the snare off. Thanks. 20 minutes later. Ooh, put that back. No, you don't want to see me carrying that. We need to make sure Jasmine didn't hurt herself trying to break her. Phew. So these are the kinds of things field researchers will do while she's asleep. First, we want to weigh her, hear her heart, and listen to her lungs. We check the teeth to make sure she doesn't need any dental work. We make sure her claws are in good shape, and that she has full range of motion in her limbs. If she has cuts, we will trim back the fur around them, douse the area with antiseptic, and stitch her up. We'll draw some blood to test for disease or organ failure. We'll take some readings on her eyes to make sure she's not developing cataracts. We have to act quickly to take care of everything we can and get all of our samples before she wakes up. All right, we're done. A little drug reversal and she will wake up fast. Great work. Now, cut away that snare and back away quickly so you don't scare her. You should keep an eye on her for a while to make sure she recovers and can get back on her feet. She's asleep now. Grab the knife and carefully remove the snare from her using the trigger. I'm so glad you were able to rescue Jasmine Tiger. The two things driving tigers and all other exotic species to the brink of extinction are habitat loss and poaching. Demand for tiger parts is being increased by tiger farming, and it's cheaper to poach a tiger than to raise one for three years to adult size. The more people who want tiger parts, the more pressure there is on wild tigers. Tiger farming also makes money by eating cubs to be used for petting and photos. Then they kill the tigers for their farm the they are fully grown. The more people who pay to interact with tiger cubs, the more tigers who are killed and sold for their parts, which puts more pressure on wild tigers as the trade in their parts is stimulated. When you get back to the ranger station, the info button to find out how to protect tigers like Jasmine. It's getting late. Let's head back to the big rescue ranger station. side of the button.
4,000. Petting tiger cubs is one reason they are going extinct, and it is a terrible plight for the cubs. Here's why. People see them being handled on talk shows, so they pay to see and pet them and take photos with them. They don't know that the cubs are ripped from their mothers at birth, so they don't bond to the mother. This is a torment to both mother and cub. The cubs are deprived of the mother's milk that has antibodies that protect them from disease. They are deprived of sleep to be available to petting customers, which further weakens their immune systems. To make them sit still for petting and photos, they are physically punished when they do what comes naturally, like run around and jump. Cubs can only be used for about 12 weeks before they can take off a child's finger. No one tracks what happens to the cubs then. They just disappear. An estimated 200 cubs per year disappear. Some end up in backyards, some at roadside zoos. No one knows how many die. Legitimate zoos don't allow this. There are just a handful of roadside zoos that do it. Roadside zoos claim cub petting helps conservation, but this is a lie. Here is how cub petting is hurting tigers in the wild. Tigers are being poached in the wild to use their parts illegally to make rugs, tiger bone, wine, and fake medicines. There are Asian countries who want to make it legal to sell tiger parts. If they are allowed to do this, even more tigers will be poached. The U.S. State Department tries to lead other nations in opposing the sale of tiger parts, but our credibility is challenged by pointing out that we don't know where our tigers are or how many get made into parts. If you want a world where tigers live free, we have to end cub petting and private possession of them. Take action at catlaws.com. I'm going to go to catlaws.com. So at the end of the game, hopefully, people will actually click that button, and as you saw, it brings it up on the screen, you never know where to look, <laughs> um, and actually contact their member of Congress and ask them to support the Big Cat Public Safety Act, which would stop all of that abuse and save the tiger in the wild. I'm so happy that this is finally live. It's been a long time coming.